what they've done for all of us um, who moved to this city uh, and really it brought so many people together and uh, I just think it's absolutely marvellous. So I wish them all the best and I'll continue to be there sort of sending you little private messages when there's a few little sort of errors being a bit of a... Um, uh, <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> no, no, Peach does that, and I appreciate that a lot because sometimes you don't know. And Peach is like, by the way, there's a spelling mistake. I, I love that. Thank you for this. Yeah. Of course, but Peach is the one who writes all the delicious recipes for uh, Interested.com, and incidentally, she brought some delicious food, so get to taste it. Thank you, Peach. Thank you, Peach. This is Carol. She joined our team recently and she's from UK. Hi. I'm from England. I'm English and I lived here ages and ages ago in the late 70s and had a child here and then left to go to England for their education. But I missed Trieste so much, I came back in 2010 after I'd done all the children, the universities, and did it, did it, did it. And here I am, and I worked with a photographer in Paris for years as an assistant. And I said to him, I would love to do photography and writing for the magazine, which is fabulous. I think it's a great idea, and it's just what we need in Trieste anyway. It's brilliant. This is Carol's article, if you guys haven't seen it. If you have questions, after the presentation, I'll pass you an after that also, so it's not hard. <laughs> You should all go. If you haven't been to the pizza, you have to go because it's just the most beautiful place. And there's foals that are like this big. They're all born black and then they turn white within three years. I'm sure all of you know that. But it's really worth it. It's worth it all. It's really wonderful. I went today actually with my grandchildren. Yeah. No, it's fabulous. Thank you. And this is Victoria. She's a multi-talented illustrator who just joined our team for the, this issue. She is going to present herself. Hi, I'm Victoria. I came from Bulgaria five or maybe six months ago already. I'm an architect actually and uh, I just uh, always loved drawing and I find a way of expressing my projects by illustrating. So actually this is what bring my illustration in the magazine. I just uh, so the pavilions in Varkula and I decided that I want to make an illustration and I sent it to Maria so she liked it and this is how my path in Trieste started and I hope that it's going to be an adventure and I'm sure that it's going to be. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you. This is Victor and Ashley as I'm sure you guys know because these guys have been with us from the very beginning when we launched our first <laughs> online article in 2020 and you guys stuck with us until the first people nothing else. Really? Yeah. Ah, yeah. all right. And 
but they couldn't talk about themselves. We're just so happy that you guys are here. We're happy to be here too. I'm Victor, as Maria said, and my wife Ashley, but I'll let her introduce herself. Um, I like that we went from Victoria to Victor. That's kind of fun. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> So I started writing with a magazine in May, I believe, of 2020. Um, we had just moved here and lockdown started. So we had this dream of moving to Trieste and I wanted to experience all these things. I'd done all this research and we were locked down and then Ashley had some serious health trouble at the same time. So our experience was very different than we expected. So uh, writing for me was very therapeutic. Uh, I started taking some walks right before I heard about the magazine and I planned on walking for 30 minutes. I ended up walking for four hours. And I some I pages of walks. Exactly. Yeah, it was amazing, just, amazing um, ride. It gave me time to think, to process everything that was happening. It was very therapeutic and fun to use a different part of my brain. And so I'm very thankful for that opportunity. And that's how my journey with Trieste started. I love to learn about what makes Trieste Trieste and what makes Julie Venezia, Julia. Um, so I enjoy that, I try to carry that across in my writing. Sometimes it's a little goofier, sometimes it's a little artsy fartsier. You never know, you gotta go with what you feel. But, um, <laughs> I enjoy learning about all the things that make the place tick. Uh, traditionally, my family came from Carnia, so I love learning about the place my family left and basically did not tell the rest of our family about and we're rediscovering and we're getting to teach our kids who are they're paying no attention to what their parents are doing. But they're eating fine. bubbles. They're eating bubbles. <laughs> yeah, bubbles. Oh, okay. oh, it's fine. <laughs> Great. Uh, that'd be an interesting, interesting uh, night. Bathroom time. Woohoo! Right. <laughs> right. There we go. And I'm sure you guys know Ashley from In Fiesta Morning Show on radio. Bravo! There you go. There are your fans. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I started writing with uh, with Trieste towards the beginning, shortly after Victor did, and um, I have my my writing has also kind of had a range between exploring the city and things that I've discovered. I'm a, an archaeology and history nerd, so sometimes I'll write about those things, uh, but also just discovering a new culture, a new place, raising children in a third culture, navigating the school system, what's in a scoot show, what are grimbule, all these things that as a parent. Uh, when you're starting here, you're just like, oh my gosh, it's it's not just the language barrier. Everything is different and you can never assume that you think you know how things go because it might be very different and they sneak up on you. So uh, we write about a lot of those experiences as well. And uh, this issue, I did a summer bucket list for things to do with kids, for families with young kids around Trieste as well. And uh, yeah, as Maria said, I host the Interesting Morning Show, which is on Radio Fragula every Thursday morning. And it's an hour of English language radio, and we talk about the expat experience, things happening in Trieste, um, little cultural things that we've noticed that we may or may not understand. We like to kind of bring people along on the journey of us learning this place and, and our expat experience, and uh, make it interesting for expats that are listening, but also for Italians listening that want a fresh perspective on their, uh, their city and to learn some English and uh, my favorite segment is the, the detti. Every week we learned a couple of expressions or phrases in English and in Italian and I just think those are a fun cultural insight. So yeah, I'm good. We'd love to see you. Talk about also what you do with children and, and on the side. Oh, okay. Yeah, because yeah. that's very interesting. Yeah, so, so Peach was just mentioning that uh, we also have a business online where we create materials um, for parents and educators of young children to teach them about different world cultures. Uh, because in, in the United States at least, we're much more isolated. You're not interacting with other cultures. It's not so easy to go into another country for lunch as it is here. Or we dip into Slovenia for, for lunch and we come right back and you hear all the different language and things. It's much easier to be in more of a, a bubble and so educators and parents have to be a little bit more intentional about let's learn about Mexico, let's learn about China, let's learn about France and really bring that in. So we create materials uh, that are online uh, for, for teachers and parents to find to explore different world cultures with, with children from home, which was I think a, a hit during lockdown when Noah could travel because everyone had the itch. So yeah, that's what we do on the site as well. It's a website. It's a website, yes. Right now it's Little Explorers Big World and we're switching it over to Cultures for Kids, but rebranding is a nightmare, so yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> We're switching it over to Thank you. All right, this is, I'm sure everybody knows, but I'm gonna introduce you right now. <laughs> this is Erin. She's a photographer, an actress, a dancer, a yoga a teacher, a traveler, and she's gonna- And a dog rest. owner. This is my dog, Lucy. <laughs> Just a beautiful lady here presenting herself. But what's her last name? McKinney! It's the last name of Erin. And uh, the other Erin also does photos at this point. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You can call me McKinney from here on out. <laughs> and, well, okay, so I'm Erin McKinney, and I have lived in Trieste for about seven years now. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana mostly, but I also lived in many places, so I'm kind of a vagabond of sorts. <laughs> And uh, I moved to Trieste. I'm, I didn't know how long I would stay here. And now, like I said, it's seven years. Um, my work and my passion is photography. Um, more than photography, maybe uh, people. So I love people. I love old people a lot. And I like to take pictures of old people um, doing things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe one day I'll get you. Yeah. <laughs> um, I love going to the beach with older people. I love drinking wine with older people. I love doing theater for older people. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> no, but not only older people. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, I don't know. That's it. I, I, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> We're happy to have you. There would be no in because he has been volunteered for the website. I, I joined the, the, the team some weeks ago, right? It's brand new. Yeah, brand new, so I didn't know all of us. I was joking, so. Uh, I was a volunteer, yeah, and Maria. But now he's a full time. Yeah, 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 definitely. And uh, no, I joined this journey because I think it's a journey. and. Uh, we enjoyed so much, and uh, Maria always uh, tried to give the best for the magazine and for the group. Uh, so I think that uh, we reach a certain point that uh, we have to be proud of what we create. In any case, a lot of people joined the group, left the group for, for some reason. But of course, we are thankful for everyone that contributes for the group. And uh, I think that um, it's a journey. Yeah, we will see what's going to happen next summer. Maybe next summer we will be. More than that, I hope that will be more than that. But it's already a year, so from the beginning we were thinking, uh, what's going on? How many effort we will put inside the magazine and uh, how to reach a certain point? And I think we reach a, a very good product. So thank you, Maria, because you did it. I'm very <laughs> proud of that. I think and, we all uh, did it, and I'm so happy that you definitely, guys. Definitely, everyone contributed. Definitely, definitely, it was uh, everyone give a huge support and uh, contribution for the magazine. And so, our magazines are on the way to United States, Denver, had a cover bookstore. I don't know if you guys know that. Uh, they're going to be there landing this week. We're so proud. And this is it for the presentation. Now drink, eat, and be merry. Thank you so much. Enjoy for the time. summer. And grab the I hope uh, it was good. I don't know. It was perfect. <laughs> 